25, it's hot. Grip, so what you do in the natural throttle position, brake pressure, gear. Pretty much everything. The only downside to all this, if you do fall off and you say you didn't do anything wrong, um, you can't lie. We are back and we have got a new camera. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just wanted to start this vlog off uh, basically thanking this person first of all. So the most random state of affairs have happened in the last week or so, but somebody on the channel that watches the vlogs like you guys uh, decided that some of the quality on the camera wasn't so good. I didn't pretend to know what I was doing or anything, just used a GoPro. And he said, um, really enjoyed the vlogs. I would like to help you out and get your proper camera and stuff. So here we are. <laughs> We've got a brand new Sony camera, mount everything, um, all the gear. I honestly feel a bit of pressure now to uh, make half decent content, but yeah, so um, big thanks to, to Ben for doing that. I'll, I'll chuck a picture in of him actually, because he sent me some pictures out of him on the bike and stuff. Um, if you guys want to chuck a message in and say thanks, because at the end of the day, it's it's you just getting to watch the content. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd say that before before we get into this get into this vlog. Um, Today we're going to have a quick look at some bike setup and stuff. Quite a few people have been mentioning in about setup and how telemetry works and data logging and all these things. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a run through. I'm currently at Donington Park, so we're at the last BSB test. So it's as good a time as any to let you have a look at what we do, what we get up to, how it works, and give you a little bit of insight onto when you make certain changes, what that does to the bike and stuff, and see what you think. Right, so um, session's just finished. Um, we made some slight changes within the session, uh, just to sort of more refine the direction rather than some things you can't always change because you'd lose too much time, like taking the shot and stuff out. So Roger's literally just plugged into the bike now. We've got the data on the laptop. I'll bring the camera around and let you see that and explain it and stuff to you first. But basically we come into the truck, get the data out. I'd say what my feelings or thoughts are and then use the data to back that up rather than him say things to me and then put things in your head and stuff like that there. So that's sort of how the process works. In the end up he still tells me what to do anyway, so it doesn't really make uh, a lot of difference. Apologies if this chair is squeaking quite a lot. Um, so yeah, basically we went from, did we take preload off the front as well yes. and put it on the rear? <coughs> yeah. Right, so in the middle of the session, the, the, we're struggling with the bike turning on the trawl as if it was sat down too low. So we put a little bit of two mm preload on the rear to try and hold the bike up. And when we were on the brakes, it wasn't going fully through the stroke. So we took some preload off the forks to get a direction to see if that was the case, which it was. But obviously in doing that, we have now put the preload on the rear, took a little bit of the grip away. Um, so we're going to change the spring rate and stuff in the shock to try and get that balance back back to what we are so now we look at the data and just see what how much of a difference that payload made and where the bike's sitting um, even though we went a little bit faster it shouldn't be too far off on the on the data so that's how the process works uh, track marks so basically after each session we write down, I'll write down my problem stuff because you always forget little things and then maybe a little while after I'll think of something else or write something else down. Um, it just leaves it easier when you come back to the track and stuff then you can look at old notes and see what, what you struggled with before. But I tend not to look straight away because then it already makes you think of something that was maybe struggling whereas this time you go out in a different frame of mind and you've got a complete blank canvas so you go, go again. So I'll just write down, obviously your gear partner and stuff's in it. I'll say where my problem, where in of the corner, out of the corner, mid corner, why it was doing that. And then obviously Roger then makes the changes. I don't say any suggestions towards suspension and I don't try and pretend to know. It's just easier that, well, that's his job and my job is to ride the bike. So um, 
yeah, that's what we're that's what we'll do now. Just write this all down. Go back out to the next session, uh, make some changes. But I'll I'll show you a little overlay now on the on the laptop of what you get to see and, and what the bike shows and parameters and stuff like that. So basically, this is what you, what see, you see, see whenever you look at the laptop. So if you just point out which each line going from the top, you'll have to. On this is your front suspension. So front suspension stroke, rear. GPS speed against rear wheel speed, car front speed on a super sport bike, and this is your throttle grip. So, what you do, and then the actual throttle position, brake pressure, gear position on this page. We've got hundreds of pages with loads of gear. And then, obviously, you can bring up a track map as well, so that shows yeah, you. Yeah, so you can look at your GPS map to see whereabouts you are. Let's get the lane on the track, so your little indicator tells you where you are. Yeah, so that's that's basically what you what you get to see. I'll I've I've showed a couple of clips of the pots and stuff on the bike. Obviously, you can't see the throttle position sensor and stuff because it's hit into the into the loom. But yeah, that's basically what what we see. So now even I can overlay this data from the last time I was here to see what we're better and worse at when we make a change. What it does to the bike mid corner or getting out of a corner. Pretty much everything. The only downside to all this, if you do fall off and you say you didn't do anything wrong, um, you can't lie. That's right. <laughs> and Roger makes pretty sure of that. So, sorry about the noise, obviously there's bikes going past and stuff, but basically we've sat down on that debrief um, and now the lads have started working on the bike. So you'll see in the background. Um, basically we've took the shock out, we're going to change the rear spring. Um, go slightly softer or slightly harder on the spring with a little a little bit less preload just to try and get some more grip and then we're going to go the opposite way on the forks um, because the forks are a little bit hard we'll go softer softer fork spring um, and then obviously we're going to change we were struggling a little bit with um, the bike finish and the turn and it seems to be more of a clutch thing than, than the setup so we're going to try and put a little bit more sort of four stroke into the clutch if that explains it um, so the guys are doing the clutch as well just bring you around and let you see Again, next session, go out the same process again. So you, you're always trying to find, trying to find how to make the bike better. So um, yeah. finished the track temperature is actually gone through the roof uh, first time we went out it was 30 degrees 30 degrees second time we went out was 40 44 45 hot um, so obviously we made all them changes that we said before um, bike definitely feels better but with the track temperature going through the roof it's really hard to see um, if the lack of grip and stuff is a setting thing or actually just the track temperature so rather than make a change because of that, um, 
we're probably just going to go with what we have, make a slight little change to tyre pressure and stuff, and see see how we go from there. I don't think there's anything else we're going to. Not the moment. No. Um, because the obviously with the parameters stuff, everything looks like where it should be, but. The feeling of the front tyre is just not fully committed to what giving me a, 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 a confidence because you can feel it. But in another sense, when I want to go a bit more, it just runs slightly wide. So, um, yeah, that's the feeling the the hot track. Green back. So we're going to go, yeah. go from there. And then, well, to be fair, it might cool, will the track temperature cool down? Um, for the next session, no. Yeah, it's going to be something in it. Yeah, because there's no cloud cover and it's going to get and uh, probably stay the same temperature. So we'll make a few small tweaks and really see when we come here to race, the chances of it being this hot is slim. But if it is, then we've got a good base to, to go off for that. More weight on the wheel, so it's enabling the engine brake to work properly. Yeah. I by slowing the rear down, that's created that not, yeah, well, not yeah. the position change. Yeah, well, I'm keeping the well, yeah. I'm keeping the weight on the rear. Yeah. So when you back shift, you've actually got the weight on the top, so it can actually open the throttle, build the RPM, and open the throttle. Yeah. Right. Geometry wise, is that where you want to start off at Alton? Yeah. I think so. Not a million miles away from where no, we were, but yeah. it's just a little bit on the front in terms of jump. Oh, we're still a little bit higher. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can see and see what it does down through uh, turn three and stuff like that. Yes. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so you need the feeling down over the brown and through cascades, yeah. obviously. Where is Crowley? I have one or he got one? I think Crowley's got one too. Sure, I'm one. You don't allow one, are you doing? No. I wouldn't like this anyway. Horrible. It looks fucking yeah. great. Yeah, Fucking big lump of chocolate stuck in it. What's that? Oh no, you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ate that, honey. You have two? Definitely. Fuck, that's two. He's earned it, right? He's a fat bastard, but he's earned it. Demons, demons. Put me in the blog. Damon's not bitter at all that he's a vegan. <laughs> I can only tell you, B5 gets you fucked all. No, you don't get nothing. You've got some mess in there, haven't you? Never touched it, they fell over off you. I was trying to save it for you. Did you not make all his plate? No. no. Look, he's got it down to stop on the first flick. <laughs> Yeah, you let yourself down, you let me down, yeah. you let the team down. How much? <laughs> yeah, that's a massive rarity. Well, he's no. probably got someone else's credit card. No. Crowley's bought the ice cream. Yeah, he's used someone else's credit card. As you can see. 28 quid them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, obviously this is probably not going to be beneficial to a lot of people, but Quite a few people did message in and they wanted to see about the telemetry, how that works. The biggest thing about the suspension and stuff is that it, a lot of it is based on personal opinion. That's probably the best word because all the suspension technicians are different, electronic technicians are different, riders are different, they all want a different feel and that's how it all works. There isn't no massive, there obviously is better ways to do things and, and when you do one thing it obviously kind of balances and takes away from something else. But um, yeah, so <laughs> this vlog is by no means gospel, but um, I hope it's been interesting to some people. And if this is the sort of thing you like, we'll do some more stuff like this in the future, possibly. Some drillers of art, no? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got some tire warmers. John! Quite a trick, they do, not they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, this is factory. Can you get out of the way? Excuse me, we are full factory. Where is it? Where is it? That's Yamaha's tyre warmers, Honda's transponder, best toolkit. <laughs> that, that is cool. I won't have any slander of the Guinness Incorporated. I thought you'd know better. I thought you'd know better. Oh, no, no. At least, at least huh? they're the advanced ones. Look, Halford's advanced. <laughs> We're probably missing a few. I thought you'd know better. That's a quality. That's a quality. What do you need to be
Hello. Thanks for watching. I'm not on. Are you going to say subscribe? Hi. Subscribe. Hi. Thanks for watching.